I mean, this is where it's at first of all. So we're in the basement, welcome to the basement. This is where it all happens. I mean, I look at work like this and I actually just wanna, I wanna frame this work. I actually wanna <laughs> yeah. put a frame around this work because this is art to me. Um, but I take a lot of pride in this. This is like somebody showing off their new car or their new toy or whatever. So this is kind of like my new toy because I have all the admiration and respect for craftsmen and craftsmanship um, in the world. And so again, seeing the text coming in here and making this happen and taking this from what it was, which is just basically a bare wall. And we really didn't know. I think Joe had actually wanted to put it on the opposite wall. And I'm really happy that Brian, the, the tech Brian from Adario's, decided to put it on this wall. And the reason is because it's a two family house. So we've got two separate systems, two individual systems, but they're split up by the middle here. And there's sort of a bay build out here in the house. And it's almost like it was perfectly made to have these two systems installed right here. So I think it was a great move and a great uh, thing and great workmanship by Brian to, uh, to take this to this side and install it in such a way where you've got your clear lines as far as you know second floor on this side first floor on this side sort of mirror images of each other whereas this guy here though has got the, uh, the it's going to have two zones for the second floor you don't need that in the first floor because it's a smaller space we've only got a single zone on the first floor but these units i guess i don't know how many zones they can go up to but they're very flexible in that sense is that they can do multi zones off of these guys and just the shutoffs and the copper and the pecs and mixing that stuff up and the gas lines the crimps oh, just a lot of engineering and workmanship where we really didn't have a plan in advance, but we didn't need to have a plan because the techs at Adair know what they're doing and they can picture it in their head and put it, put it into a, the, the real world. And, um, and I've, I've been here during vacations and, and time before work when the guys showed up and started doing their work and then I'd come home from work and see what was done that day. Just seeing everything that goes into it and the engineering and workmanship is just very impressive. I mean, we're talking about water lines, we're talking about gas lines, oh so we're talking about, well, the plumbing part is separate, but just the pecs, you know, we know now that the red lines are for the hot water feeds and the plumbing side of things and the blue lines are for the cold water feeds and the plumbing. We know that the clear lines are for the heat feeds because those are the things that feed the baseboard heaters and the returns. So we've got a system that is very flexible in that it's able to provide hot water because we haven't done any of the upgrades or the, the renovations aren't complete in the second and third floors for the heating system, but we were still living up there while the first floor was being renovated. So we still needed to have the bathroom and the kitchen working and having the hot and cold water feeds. Adarius was able to take the new systems and have the new hot water system tie in tie to in the existing to the pipes up in the second yeah. floor so we could still be happy up there and live and function Amazing. and cook yeah. and bathe and do all the things that we need to do. Um, and then they were able to get everything going down on the first floor, which wasn't being used. So then of course they were able to you know, hook up all the, the plumbing fixtures and all that mm -hmm. stuff and get that going just in a very logical um, sense, a logical step-by-step um, uh, -step, uh, uh, sense to work with us, right? That's the key. Communicate with us and work with us and get things done in a logical step-by-step -step fashion so that we can still live in the place, which is a key. And that's something we haven't mentioned yet about this project that Marguerite and I have taken on with this household renovation. And the way a diary has been able to work with us and do the things that need to be done when they need to be done. It's a unique thing about our project is that I don't know that any contractor can plug in and pull out at the right times when necessary. That's a real key that really was beneficial to us. And I know it's going to be beneficial going down the road. I think we're almost like home free because you all have most of the second floor already roughed in. So, I mean, again, you guys are in a holding pattern, pattern waiting for us to get the contractors lined up and get the work done on the second, third floor. And then you're going to be able to just come right back in again and get all that stuff finalized. So we're really looking forward to that. But all the, the big stuff has been done, as you can see behind me. The, the second floor system here is already installed, right? Mm -hmm. But it's only supplying hot water for now because it's very flexible. So we don't have it supplying the hot hot water for the, the, um, the heating system. It's not supplying the heating system stuff yet, but it will be. But the first floor, on the other hand, this system's totally good to go, doing its thing, supplying hot water and heat for the first floor system and, and doing it quite well, I might say. We're very happy with the performance thus far of the system. And the, the best part is, from the get-go, we had other contractors coming in here saying, wow, so when you have another contractor coming in who's not the heating contractor, and they're actually reiterating all the stuff that I just said. You know, when I just look at the system, just looking at it, it looks like a quality system that's been, uh, that the quality installation, well done, you know, everything logically laid out. There's no 
stuff here that's uh, that looks like it doesn't belong. I mean, everything it, it's just a logical system. But in the middle of it all, you got this, right? This is the Adario sticker. So going forward. I mean, this is the start of a long-term relationship. I know when the warranty expires on this stuff, you know, long-term service contracts are something that are definitely in the mix for us, whereas, you know, we like to go on vacation once in a while. We don't want to get on a plane and go down to the Caribbean and worry about if the heating system's going to fail or if something happens or if whatever, you know, yeah. stuff stuff happens. Peace of mind. Yeah. Well, if, if something happens, always somebody has to do all we're going to do it, tell our tenants is just come down, there's a phone number's right there, just call that number, they'll get back to you and they're going to come out and fix it. Or they don't have to, that you can just call me down in the Caribbean and I've got this number plugged into my phone and I know I can call from, from Mexico on the beach <laughs> and say, hey, Christine, the guys need to go out and fix the heating problem. And I know I don't have to worry. I can just order my next drink and everything's going to get taken care of because I know these guys are going to be in here for a while. And, and, and down the line, after the system's complete and the renovation's done and we're in a happy place and all said and done and we're on vacation, we're going to be able to rest assured that we've got the folks in the loop you know, long-term service contracts is definitely something I think someone like us, sh mm -hmm. and, and I don't know if folks watching are in a similar position, but if you are, even if it's your own home, you don't want to be calling some buddy that you don't know in the middle of a January night saying, hi, this is so-and-so, can you come down and, and they don't know anything about your system and you don't know anything about them and you don't know if they're going to show up. Yeah. I don't know if I call this number, these folks are going to be here that night, you know, and I know from the text, talking to the text that, I know Brian said something to me once about, um, I, I voiced a concern about not having hot water. He said, well, we've got spare hot water tanks. We're not going to leave you without hot water. You're going to have everything you need. Don't worry. We're not going to leave you out in the cold, so to say. I mean, the, that's, a, that's a saying, but I think it's true. They're not going to leave you out in the cold. They're going to be there. I mean, these guys are going to be here. So our older heating systems, both the, the old uh, steam, the gravity system that we had steam heat, yeah. Boy, did we pay some high heat in those back oh, in the day. Oh, so my goodness. So then we upgraded that to a window. system. Oh, <laughs> it was a, like heating up a giant tea kettle, right? Yeah. I don't know how many gallons of water was in that thing, but it was a lot because I did drain that down. We got rid of it. I remember. Even the second system that we got because it, we still had a steam system up in the second, third floor was still a lot of money for, for yeah. the heat. Uh, having an efficient system like this. It's uh, going to save us. A uh, high efficiency heating system is the way to go nowadays. I mean, there's just not no two ways about it. Everybody knows what those big boilers look like in their basement. We had one here that was huge. huge. It was a silo. Even the replacement for that was a bit sized down, maybe half the size, but it was still there. That response for your heat. What about your hot water? That's a separate tank too, right? You got that big old tank sitting in the middle of your basement. Maybe you're in Takes your basement. So you want to finish your basement. You got to dance around this hot water heater. It was right Everything's in the right in here. Oh. It does the heat, hot water. It's all there. So yeah. you don't need to worry about space constraints of these things being in the way or looking ugly or, or you know behemoth things that remember when you're a little kid you always be afraid of the boiler <laughs> be this big thing you know like a big dragon in the middle of the basement just yeah, you didn't yeah, know what the heck that thing was i don't think any kid would be afraid of this thing do you yeah. and really you would have cool. to teach me how to light it if something happened oh my goodness oh so the pilot and the boiler nobody wants to deal with that i right? don't have to do that you don't have to do any ignition no. stuff with this stuff no or even a hot water heater sometimes you have the pilot if your pilot goes out yeah. <laughs> I don't want to lucky deal with that. I didn't have to do that. No, no, we're lucky we didn't have to yeah. do that yet. But obviously, yeah, coming in, one of the things we, we really, one of the themes about remodeling this house, which was, this, which was built in 1915, is bringing this 20th century baby into the 21st century. So that's something I've always said that I kind of mm -hmm. made up that I'm, I'm proud of doing. And this is, this is really the, the heart of it. This is kind of the operation center or whatever, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Is this is where it, For me, this is where it all happens with the heating system. Heat and hot water. And it is. It's, 21st, it's a modern 21st century system, which yes, is efficient. Very it's going to save us a bundle of money, I think, at the end of the day, is what I'm trying I to say, so. all that stuff said. And we used to pay some pretty high heating bills. Um, we used to get some, some statements and from And we weren't that warm. <laughs> And then, yeah, and to boot, to boot, yeah, because yeah. Yeah, of the steam yeah. radiators that were up there, they really didn't, it didn't deliver. I think we were wasting a lot of heat down here, right? Mm -hmm. I think we're probably heating the basement more than we're heating the second and third floors Definitely. with that system. There, and we were paying a lot of money. And we'd get notices from, from the, uh, from, I don't know if it was Episource or National Grid at the time. It had the graphs on it. I don't know if folks have got these, these things in the mail where they have the graphs where you, your neighbors are using this much and we were using like this much. Yeah. And we were always like, ah, nah, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with it. We didn't deal with it. We were in denial or whatever. 
and I, I'm, I'm anxious to, uh, I can't wait to see what it, we're going to look like either baseline or below that, I think, mm -hmm. as far as what we're neighbors use. And we'll be on par with what an efficient system Definitely. It should be, we're going to be using what we should be using. And I think, you know, this, this isn't a, a thing about the environment, but I think it does, it does get back to that, doesn't it, for the environment, right? We're not using, uh, yeah. we're not using as much fuel, right? Yeah. So we're not we're hurting, we're not hurting, the, yeah. we're not hurting the planet so much now that sure. we're using less fuel, right? That's important to me. Shouldn't forget about that, should <laughs> yeah. we? We have grandkids, so, you know, yeah. we want to <laughs> want to make sure the planet's safe, too, for them. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah, a system like this is not going to be, um, not going to be wasting energy. And I think we were wasting a lot of energy before. Yes. So an efficient modern system is what, what we wanted, it's what we've got, and we're really happy with it. And I love showing it off. I really do. I'm polished enough. <laughs> 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 <laughs>